Hey, Bayside's Pastor Andrew here. I, I'm sure you're like me. I love getting to church on the weekend and getting my worship on. I love it when that band comes out on the crowd or around me, and I get to raise my hands in the air, and uh, I get to sing. I mean, I sing in the shower, or I sing around like hundreds of people when no one can really hear me, but I know God is enjoying my worship. But the reality is the Bible teaches me that that's just one aspect of my worship. That's my worship through song. And Moses really helps us with another dimension to our worship. You see, he originally went to the guy called Pharaoh and he said, God says, let my people go because we want to go a three day journey into the wilderness to worship God. And first, you know what? Pharaoh turned around and said, no, I'm never going to let you go. And then Moses thought, I'm going to persuade you through a few plagues. And then eventually Pharaoh goes, okay, I'll let all all the guys go, all the men can go worship, but the guys are really smart. And they said, we can't worship without our wives. What a message for men. Okay. We got to do this as couples. And Moses then takes it even further. It's just not us. It's our families. And there's something else. Look at this verse here from the book of Exodus. It's Exodus chapter 10, verse 26. Moses says, our livestock too must go with us and not a hoof or a Tesla, or a widescreen TV, or an iPhone, or an iPad, or a MacBook is to be left behind. We have to use some of them in worshiping the Lord our God. I love that verse because what Moses understands is that either we can worship our stuff or we can worship with our stuff. And true worship involves not just the raising of our hands and the raising of our voice, but actually the submission of our stuff. And yet, I don't know where you are in the world, but this is really important that we grasp this. When it comes to worship, God says, I want you to submit by faith all the things you own. And let's be honest, everybody, we own nothing. We just steward everything because everything we have has been given to us by God. That's why in life, things like tithes and offerings are really important. And I know you're watching a Bayside Refuel devotion here, but maybe you don't come to Bayside Church. Maybe you're part of another church. Whatever church you go to, can I encourage you with this? Today, get your finances right. Today, get your generosity right. Today, make a plan to put God first in your worship, just not with your voice, not just with your hands, but actually with your heart and with your wallet as well and with all the stuff you own. And let's be wildly generous to God in all that we have and bring everything into our world of worship.